Hello everyone, it's Sunday the 6th of February today, so we're going to use the daily guidance from your angels deck today to bring a message in. So thank you angels, what do we need to know on this day? Well I've got three cards coming out, so the first card we've got is reward yourself, very powerful. The second card is Cupid, and we've also got focus on service, I love this because we're being reminded that Valentine's Day is upon us, and that means that Cupid or the romance angels... Those little angels helping you and your twin flame come together or to line up love for you or to help you to feel loved or working overtime to bring love into your life. So Cupid is saying to you today, reward yourself for all the good that you have done. Be good to yourself. Give yourself a gift today, a treat today. That could even be just having a rest. You know, it's Sunday today. Some of us are working, some of us aren't. So it's saying to you, reward yourself for everything you've done in your life. You're about to get rewarded. So I feel this is a huge sign for twin flames that your reward is coming. And your reward will be that message from your twin, that communication you've been waiting for. For some of you, it will mean reunion, union, whatever this means for you. And also that love is available to you now. You know, whenever we focus on love, it grows. It grows in our life. That means we start seeing love everywhere. We're given treats from heaven, blessings from heaven. We start receiving, you know, more love in our life, kind words, generous actions, beautiful things. We see beauty everywhere. So reward yourself, be kind to yourself, be good to yourself. Maybe take yourself out today, do something you love to do. But what I'm really feeling with this is as well, as we move towards Valentine's Day, Take yourself out on a date. Buy yourself a rose. Get yourself a Valentine's card. They're giving me fear. Especially if you go into fear around this time of year. This is the year of mission and purpose. And part of that mission and purpose is to be good to you. You know, this is the month of self-love. Giving to yourself, loving yourself, nourishing yourself. So reward yourself with good things and good things will come to you. And I'm also being guided to remind you that if you want to win something wonderful, you know, you've got this last day now to get involved in my Valentine's giveaway here on the channel. You know, three opportunities to win. So seek out that giveaway video and have a go. And I'm going to be announcing on Monday the winners. So reward yourself, Cupid is saying to you, when you give back to yourself, when you love yourself, the Cupids and the Romance Angels and all of heaven are going to bring love in and restore your faith. And if you get nervous, if you get worried about anything, if you feel anxious, focus on service. Service is giving, being of love, being of light, sharing your light with the world. And when we focus on service, it's very rewarding. It's very rewarding when we focus on service, when we help people out, when we give. You know, when we operate from our higher self, we feel loved, we feel protected, we feel safe. So I'm going to read you the messages. So Cupid is saying, we send great waves of love into your heart and into your mind. So the angels are sending love to you today, awakening your love for life itself. So you're being awoken to how great this life is to how amazing this loving life really is. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. So you've kind of said to yourself, I am now choosing to be happy. I give myself permission to focus on love. I allow love and romance into my life and I am ready for love. I am ready for love in all its forms and because you're in that energy it's triggered an awakening it's triggered something that's being reawakened within you and your twin flame and in the world it's sent out a ripple of emotion so you're bringing good things in allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects so be spontaneous today you know, maybe you want to do something and you're thinking, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, go for it, go for your dreams. It says, reward yourself. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. So all the good you've been doing, all the things you've been giving out are coming back to you. Allow yourself to receive. 
Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy levels, your mood and your motivation at a consistently high level. So the more you give to others, the more you feel good. But the more you give back to self, the more you'll have to give to others. And if you get nervous, focus on service. Your soul desires and it desires only to joyfully serve. So in other words, that's a desire within you to give to be of service, to help the world. That's why you've come, because you are a light worker. That's why it feels so good. It feels natural to you. It feels natural when you are helping others, being a guide, being a leader, showing the way. And to swim in a constant stream of bliss, that's what you desire, to feel at peace, to feel happy, to feel joyful. It's natural to you. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. So that's reminding you that when you're operating through love and service and joy and bliss, everything flows to you naturally without you having to force it or push it or try and make it happen. It says put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. So focus on giving in all that you do. Focus on love. Focus on light. As Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. Be in that energy and everything else will make sense. So today, be good to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Reward yourself. Give yourself something that maybe you've wanted to give to yourself for a while. Today's the day. And give and then you receive. It will make you feel better. Maybe this is a day you help someone out. You focus on service could be a day where you start thinking about being of service and how you can share your light with the world. The angels have got you and you've got this. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.